I don't want to alarm anybody, but turns out we can actually play some soccer when we try. Intro. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Full Mingo Football Manager Road to Glory series. The last two episodes have gone the exact same, three losses, one win in each. We like to end our episodes with a win so far this season. It's been a rough one, but now the transfer window's closed. We are into the month of September and we got some good games ahead of us. First, we're starting with Fresno. They are 22nd in the league. We are sitting all the way up in 19th, so we're way better than them, right? Then things are going to get a little bit tougher or a lot tougher with fifth place Phoenix and we will go from there. Before we get into it, if you've been enjoying the series so far, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the family. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of the series. And let's get started by crushing Fresno. All right, so this is the team that we are going to go with in the game against Fresno. Not trying to be cocky here, I promise, but they're not a great team. And almost all of our starters need a break. We're starting to lack in fitness. So uh, basically full rotation here. Cap is keeping his spot in goal. And Vocek, Vocek, old reliable, is staying up top. He came to me last episode, said, I need to start more games. Brought him off the bench. He scored. Started him. Scored a brace. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. So he's earned his spot. He is starting again but there's a number of people right behind them that want to take that spot. And based on their stats and, and attributes, they are way better than him. But he just keeps banging in the goals. So he gets to start again. Matthew Bentley and Jamal Cox in the attacking mid rolls. Toyama coming back on the left, hopefully not getting a red card this time. Christian Diaz on the right. Eric Leonard in that deep line playmaker role. And our back four consists of Carl Schneider, Connor Tobin, Sean Russell, and Alexis Valela. These are the boys that are going to get the win away to Fresno. Into Jamal Cox. Jamal Cox has some room. He gets tackled, but he's still on the ball. Picks it up. Drops it to Alexis Valela. He gets by one. He can get a cross off here. He's going to have one himself, and he should not have done that. Christian Diaz with the free kick. Goes across. Jamal Cox puts it away. Jamal Cox, his second goal of the season. All right. And yet again, it's the players from last season who are stepping up and getting us goals when we need them. Now we have a throw in. Valela with the long throw. Christian Diaz is there. He heads it on. Matthew Bentley gets blocked. Eric Leonard picks it up. Gets by one. Takes the shot. Good save from their keeper, Moreno. There's the halftime whistle. We're up 1-0. We've had 14 shots, seven of which were on target. 55% possession away from home. I'm loving it. Selby goes over the top. Tobin cuts it out, finds Leonard, who goes up to Petro Silva. He's through on goal. Petro Silva, another big save from their keeper. Come on, see it out, boys. Just see it out. No, no, don't, no, stop it. Yes, Eric Leonard clears it out. Not good enough. Carl Schneider, Navarro. Good, Eric Leonard finds Matthew Bentley. He goes up to Petro Silva. Come on, Petro Silva. God, we can't buy a goal here. There's a final whistle. All right. A good 1-0 win over Fresno. We were dominant on the day. I would still like to see us finish more of our chances, but we will take it. That win sees us move up to 14th in the table with a game in hand on a number of teams behind us and a couple ahead of us, so not too bad. A uh, win with that game in hand could move us into that 12th. 13th spot, so pretty good. We will absolutely take that. All right, here is the team that we are playing in our next game. It is against Phoenix Rising. They are sixth place in the league, but we are back at home. So we are sticking with this formation. We are back to what would basically be our first choice team. We have Rafael Navarro up top, Jamal Cox and Adrian Vera in the attacking mids, Geronimo Rodriguez on the left, Augustine Sufi on the right, Menenti in the middle, and then Hunter, Ariano, Batista, and Billingsley as our back line. And of course, Alex Cap in goal. That's the squad. We are now two whole games in a row. We have won. Let's keep it going. 
Why not, right? Come on, boys, let's extend our winning streak. All right, Geronimo with the steal and then gets stolen. Not great. Gets it back? No, he doesn't. Aguinaga, Calstri, Waylon on the right wing gets the cross off and John Baccaro heads it home. Not great. Not, not good. Not what we want. Not good. Now they have a corner. More. Baccaro again. No, it wasn't. It was Calistri. Calistri. Mother of dragons over here. Vera finds Navarro. Navarro doesn't put it home. Vom Stieg is actually a goalkeeper we were looking at this offseason, but couldn't get him in. Navarro again gets blocked. All right, there's halftime. Less than good. 2 0 down. Pretty even game, other than the score. A better second half coming. I can feel it, except that they get the first highlight. Cap with the diving save. Good thing he went to ground for that one. Oh boy, Baccaro. Cap saves that one. Good. Come on, Cap. Prove why you were the better choice than Von Stieg. Von Stieg. Sounds like a, a Bond villain. Sufi almost loses the ball, but he doesn't. Goes over the top to Billingsley. Noah Billingsley tries to cross it to nobody, but now Menenti has it and doesn't lose it. That's good. Augustine Sufi on the right wing. Finds Menenti. He goes in the middle. Jamal Cox heads it home. Jamal Cox is having a resurgence here. He has been playing very well lately. His third goal of the season. Love to see it. Coming into the end of the game here. Come on, boys. See if we can snatch it from the jaws of defeat. We can't. We can't at all. Okay. Well, played better in the second half, I guess. We had 20 shots. Again, our team motto. Take more shots, score less goals. Going into that, I would have expected to lose the game, but I think it was there for the taking. At least a draw was there for the taking. All right, we are gonna switch things up just a little bit. Instead of the two attacking midfielders, we're gonna drop them back into a midfield position. Just regular midfielders, they're playing the Mazala role. Everything else basically the same. We're gonna try out Adrian Vera up top. And we have Navarro on the left. Eric Leonard and Jeff Michaud, the old reliables from last season in the midfield. Sufi on the right, Valela in that defensive mid position. Menenti actually picked up just a little bit of an injury, so he's out for a few days. Otherwise, that would normally be his spot. Then we have Hunter, Ariano, Batista, and Terrell Lowe because Billingsley is lacking in some fitness. That guy, you know, his stats for uh, stamina and natural fitness are decent but he's just never fit so i don't know he's luckily he's on loan and we're not paying for him otherwise i'd be kind of upset about it but he's just never fit ready to go so he plays one game and then he needs to sit out for like three games so he's out torello's in caps in a goal let's go back to our winning ways new formation a little bit more compact defensive and sturdy because I don't know about you, but when I think sturdy, I think Flamingos. Yeah, a lot of big names here in Nashville. It is an MLS team in real life. They are now in the championship in this game. Don Baji up top, Haney Mukhtar, Daniel Lovitz, Dave Romney, Anibal Godoy, Randall Leal. It's, I mean, chase. Jimmy Madronda's on the bench. Abu Dunladi, Dax McCarty. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. They immediately have a highlight. Unless maybe it's ours. Jeff Michaud gets a steal. Jeffrey hits the post. Don Baji's pass gets intercepted. Eric Leonard doesn't do anything with it, but we still have the ball now. Okay, this seems to be going well. Sufi still has the ball. Gets a cross off. Navarro's there. He heads it home. Rafael Navarro, his first goal for the team. Opens his account as a Mingo. All right. Sufi cuts inside. He finds Adrian Vera. Oh, shot goes just over the crossbar. All right. I, you know what? I don't want to jinx anything by saying anything. Halftime, 1-0. 
That's it. Second half. Nashville throwing. Romney goes in. Gets cleared out, but Daniel Lovitz is on him. Dax McCarty. Oh. Okay. Staying. Wow, Sufi has space. Navarro. Yes, Rafael Navarro puts it home. Sufi did all the work there. Navarro puts the finishing touch on it. His second goal for the club, his second goal of the day. Adrian Vera gets a heck of a steal. Good save by their keeper. Vera is on the corner. He goes short. Valela. Come on, sir. Coming to the end of the game. There's the final whistle. All right, boys. We get the 2-0 victory. Now, what I didn't want to say at halftime was we wanted a bit more of a defensive, sturdy formation. And it looked at the time like that was it. And come full time, we kept a clean sheet against, uh, let's be honest here, a better team than us. So very happy with that. Loved to see it. 2-0 over Nashville. Rafael Navarro gets man of the match. With his two goals, he played an 8.8. .8. Fantastic. And he was playing on the left wing instead of the striker position that we would normally play him at. I I don't know. I actually, I really liked Adrian Vera there. He didn't score any goals and didn't actually get any assists, but he was very involved in that game in that pressing forward position. So Adrian Vera might have uh, taken that spot. Oh, come on. Alexis Valela gets injured. He's out for two to three weeks. All right, our last game of the episode is against Sacramento. We are still at home, Bree Stevens Field. We are going to stick with this formation that we tried out in the last game. Only change is Manenti coming back into that defensive mid roll. He's good, good to go. And remember, Valela got injured, so he is out for a few weeks. Menenti is back into that role. Everything else is going to stay the same. We're going to leave Adrian Vera up top. I have Vocek on the bench. He's going to come in later. I promised him some playing time. He hasn't gotten in the last two games, probably, but he's going to come back in at some point during the game, I'm sure. But I'm giving Adrian Vera the start again because he did very well last time. So he's earned that. Navarro is... Again, same thing. He earned his spot on the left there. I would like to see him up top, but I kind of don't want to mess with a good thing here. So let's just see if we can do that again. That was fun. We beat Nashville. They were in sixth place in the league, I think, when we played them. Now we're playing Sacramento, who is in fourth. We are in 14th. We're at home. Let's do the impossible. We have a corner. Vera goes across. It gets headed out. Gomez goes long. McInerney. I definitely didn't say that right. Oh, God. Wow. Power header. Cap makes the save. Ariano clears. Good stuff. I'm still not. I'm just not going to try to say his name. Oh, God. He's got it again. Stop this guy. Hunter makes a tackle, but they still got it. Gomez in the middle. Header goes wide. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's the first half done. Um, still zil, zil, zil. Yeah, zil, zil. Not a whole lot happened other than a couple of chances by them, although only one of them was on target. We've had 10 shots, six of which were on target, and we still haven't scored. So far, it's just our standard. Take a lot of shots, don't score any goals. But hopefully in the second half, we can turn that around. Keep shooting, start scoring. We have a throw in. Terrell Lowe. Goes out to Minenti on the edge of the box. Finds Sufi. Sufi takes one. Oh, my God. What a save. Pushed to the post. We have another throw in. Torello into the middle. Nobody's there. Drops to Michaud, who takes the shot. He had to be offside. Yeah, he was. Somebody was. See if we can nick one at the end. We cannot. But, hey, that's okay. A nil-nil draw against the fourth place team in the league. I would take that. I'm a little disappointed to see that we had 16 shots, nine of which were on target, and we didn't score any goals. But their goalkeeper, Adam Grinwis, played the game of his life. A couple of those highlights, he made some stupid saves. So 
Sometimes that happens. Goalkeepers just keep teams in it, and he did today. Overall, happy with that performance. Francisco Menanti gets man of the match. All right, decent. Okay, so that is where we're going to end today's episode much better than some previous episodes. Two wins, a draw, and a loss. Way better than three losses and a win, I think, overall pretty well. Especially considering one of those wins was over Nashville, and we drew with the fourth place team in the league. Very happy with both of those. I think this new tactic that we have... That 4-1-4-1, just sitting back a little bit more allows us to spring on the counter. And, you know, it, it seems to be working so far. Hopefully with even a little bit more comfortability with it and with the players involved, we should even get better. Overall, pretty happy. We are sitting in 15th place right now. Our goal from the board this season is avoid relegation. So, so far, so good on that. I'm thinking we can do more than just avoid relegation. Sitting in that middle of the table, I would be very happy with that. Our first season in the championship, get a mid-table finish. Then next year, we can capitalize and really move forward from there. So far, so good. We'll see how the rest of the season goes. It's a long season. We're just getting started. But sitting in 15th after 11 games played, pretty happy with it. If you've been enjoying the series so far, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the family. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of the series. Let's see where we can take this, huh? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.